It's the first update of the year. And we would like to present the Star Park Gardens. This lab is where we create all the beautiful flowers, plants, and creatures in Star Park. And now Danny will just create a new specimen. You just have to mix the substance C and substance X. Easy. No, wait, no, 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 not Y! Oopsie. <sighs> well, at least we are fine. So welcome to Brawl Talk. We are now entering the biodome season. Rosa, Bee, and Sprout finally have a home, but as usual, things have gone a bit weirdly. Speaking of weird but cute, Eve is the newest brawler of the season. She's a very small alien flea in a spaceship who is joining Ruff's trio. She's a loving mother that just wants to find a place for her babies, even if that means disintegrating anyone in her way. With her main attack, she shoots three eggs in a row. They all have different sizes and damage. And with her super, she releases a big egg that hatches after some seconds and spawns three hatchlings. If the hatchlings are not destroyed before latching onto the closest enemy, they will deal damage over time. Eve has a very unique trait too. Since she's flying on her spaceship all the time, she can hover over certain terrains like water and holes. She's also getting a skin called Spiky Eve at the last tier of the Biodome Brawl Pass. And the first king of the pass is Firefly Rico. Now, the Biodome used to be a nice and peaceful place until some experiments went wrong. And because of that, we got on, go, Ivy gang. Bell, Mr. Fly, Mantis Rosa, Corrupted Sprout, Dr. Edgar, and Beetle Mac. Wasp is the power leak skin of the season, Bunny Grom is coming soon on Easter, and Lion Bull is another wacky skin in the club shop. With the Biodome update, two new game modes are coming to Brawl Stars. One of them is Payload. Some of you might know the rules of this game mode already, but the goal is to push your payload from point A to point B. The enemy team will try to push their payload at the same time. So be mindful that this game mode requires a bit more strategy than the other ones. If you decide to defend your payload, the enemy team might manage to push theirs. And if you attack the enemy's payload, you might let yours open. As for our second game mode, it's called Wipeout and the rules are a lot simpler. You have to defeat 8 enemy brawlers or defeat more brawlers than the enemy team in 2 minutes. With this mode, we are trying to push for a more casual game mode that doesn't require a lot of coordination and can still be really fun. And as always, both game modes are seasonal and their permanence in the game will depend on their performance. We have a bunch of changes coming in this update as well. Healing gear is now changed, and instead of healing your brawler when you're standing still, it now improves your standard healing overall. A change for the new players. Showdown is now the first mode every player will play instead of gem grab, because it's easier to understand and to have fun with in the first matches. We are now changing the bounty, hot zone, heist and knockout rotation to be daily rather than hourly. Siege is not part of the rotation for the time being, but it will be available in Map Maker still. Power League Progression now considers your performance. If you win two games without losing, you will progress more than before. And if you manage to win only one of the games, you won't lose as much progress. Club League will now have six tickets on the last day of the season. This means that if you had bad results on the previous two days, you'll still have a chance to make up for those and get a better placement. And also related to clubs, now you can buy as many power points as your club coins allow. And one big change regarding the exclusive skins we have in-game such as Seasonal, Power League and Brawl Pass. They will now remain exclusive for a while, but then they will return to the shop in new offers. 
This starts only for the skins that are being released in this update. All the other skins that were exclusive before will remain exclusive. The Brawl Stars Championship is back. The best players in the world will be playing live every month. And you can either be one of them or watch and get rewards. Exclusive pings based on the animated Brawl Stars players will be given every month. You just need to go to event.brawlstars.com on the show days and watch, interact and get your rewards. If you want to know when the matches are live, make sure to follow our Brawl Stars eSports channels all in the description below. Wildcard power points can now be found in boxes. 10 new second gadgets are coming to the game. A bunch of new maps for every mode. Knockout is now in Map Maker. More pings and animated pings. Basket Brawl returns as a seasonal mode. And duos are seasonal as well. And more true gold and silver skins. Hope you enjoy the first update of the year. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching. Two heads are better than one, I guess. That's right. I'm not sure if that's right. Hmm, suddenly if I'm feeling super smart. Me too. Does this mean I can finally grow a beard? Uh, please, guys, get a room. I'm thirsty. Thank you. I'm <laughs> 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 I don't know how to drink water. <laughs> <laughs>